I sense that we're spoiled. Go boys, go, go, go! Get them all, get them all! There you go. There you go. Go, 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 roll them, boys! Nice, nice, nice. Go, go! This morning was was interesting. I didn't I didn't do a preamble. I just I just didn't have the time this morning. It was dark, and then as soon as I got back to the blind from parking the trucks, I mean the ducks were on us. Go 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 go! Which was unreal. It was a great supposed to be a combo hunt, but we just didn't see the geese this morning. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Good shooting, boys. Go, guys. Two, oh, two ducks in front. Go, go, go! It's supposed to be a combo hunt, but we just didn't see the geese this morning. Like, I don't know, they're just, they're either they're coming through, but they're just not sticking for us, you know? I mean, we're getting a few, but. Um, yesterday we did okay on the geese on you know on both hunts. Did you have fun? Oh yeah! Great yeah. afternoon hunt. Nice. But this morning, the ducks. Wow. I mean, it was just flight after flight after flight right in the blocks. Go! Oh man! <laughs> you guys were deadly. Claudio got three oh, in one got... shot. <laughs> Of course, I had so much going on. I mean, I had GoPros. I'm trying to film. I mean, half the time my gun was empty. Yeah. Oh. And you think I maybe would have loaded my gun? <laughs> get ready, oh, get, wow. ready get ready, get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go! Oh, my oh, my God. 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 I, I did it again! We had 48 ducks down in I don't know, under an hour, so it was, it was pretty good, quite spectacular, and they did it. I mean, it was right up the middle. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Go, 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 go! We hunted with uh, a couple hundred dive bombs, you know, a big lazy you out in front of the blind. We threw three, go. three uh, lucky duck spinners out in front of us, about 18 yards, and it was just lights out. Good shot. I think I like Good shot. Yeah. I haven't really hunted waterfowl, you know, very much in other parts of the world. I mean, I hunted Louisiana once. Hunting uh, Louisiana in the swamp, in the basin. Top secret location. Shh. It was fun. It was. Uh, I don't. Know, we shot ten ducks, I think, three guys. But wow, what what a cool adventure! Just getting in here and in the dark and in the swamp. I'll tell you what, I've seen I've seen a lot of ducks in my life. This is pretty fun. No issues with the guns again, you know, I, I know I keep harping about it, but uh, you know, when you're out there and you do get the opportunity and, and I, I sense that we're spoiled. Go boys, go, go, go! Go, go! Get them all! Get them all! There you go. There you go. Let's go, go, go! Go, go, roll them, boy! Nice, nice, nice. We're out here, we get so much opportunity that you know, if, if we do have something fail, we just go, oh, no big deal. We'll just wait for the next flock. Go! But you know, if if you don't have that, that kind of luxury, you want to make sure all of your components are working, right? I mean, the decoys have to do their job. 
the gun has to do its job. I mean, it has to fire when you pull that trigger. Go, go! You might not hit them, but that's okay. The gun did hit part. The ammo's critical. And I've seen a lot of birds fall out in front of me, you know, and, and I can honestly tell you that this heavy shot family of ammo that we're shooting now is by far the most lethal. When they talk about lethality, they don't kid around. I mean, it comes out of there and it whacks them. Well, Mel, let's go get the trucks. <laughs> Thanks for the pickup. Yeah, it's over. This is a bit of a pro tip. Very, very rarely will go and hunt geese on their own and in the morning. So, you know, if, if you and your buddies go out and you, you, you know, it goes a little bit sideways, well, you're just gonna go home and have a barbecue with your family and life's good. But, you know, when you have a bunch of hunters that have come a long way, and in our case, two and a half days, they only hunt five times. We go down a morning goose hunt, like this morning we shot three geese. Five. Five, five, right. Yeah. So if we didn't back it up with 48 ducks, which made it absolutely spectacular. Right, and we could have shot another oh. 90 ducks. Yeah. Easy, but. Yeah, and, and then, you know, they got the visual of, of seeing all those ducks decoy. Yeah, that was but unreal. imagine if this was, like, if there was only those 200 geese. Like, we didn't see 200 geese today. And, no, and, oh, heck. You know, like, we no. didn't see hardly any. And so we ended up killing five, subtract 48 ducks. Now, all of a sudden, it's a long drive back to the lodge it with a bunch is, of hunters yeah. that came a long way. And, and, you know, they're not disappointed because it's, it's hunting. But, I mean, you know, when they close their eyes at night when they go to bed, Probably. they're dreaming of birds doing it now. <laughs> yeah, and now they're just going, wow, what a great day. So, you know, we did that, you know, basically two mornings in a row. The goose hunting was a little bit better yesterday. But, yeah. you know, we can go out tonight. And, and tonight, you know, let's say we have a failure tonight. It, it's not great, but, you know, we still had a you know 48 and 5 yeah, it's a you know 50 yeah, some bird morning yeah. which is good and we go and kill 5 10 or 25 or 40 geese tonight yeah, that would be yeah. 43 you know would be really nice to cap it off and we might but i think it'll be a good night it's a little cooler day yep yeah i agree and those birds have been in there now so yeah we'll yeah. see hope it's not a black banana it won't be no i hope not all right abby i'm yeah. never coming home <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, you can stay. <laughs> we can stay. We have room. <laughs> but you won't be hunting. You'll be working. You won't like the bill oh, after 63 days of this. Yeah. You know? <laughs> All right. Good Anyh hunt. Good Anyhow, hunt. you know, it ended up being an absolutely fantastic duck hunt. I mean, like, I've been doing this a long time, and for those ducks to present that way, man. Like, you thought yesterday the ducks presented well? Today. It was big. Today. Way was more big. ducks. This and more. Too. But the way they did it, I mean, just... You know, Mel had it dialed in, and we were on, definitely on the X, because when they come, and they do it. And oh, yeah, look at this. No robos, nothing. And they're landing right in front of the blind. You know, the dive bombs did their job, and you guys shot well. It was good. It was fun. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go eat. Let's get some All goose right. Goose. Some goose legs. <laughs>